Scientists just performed the world's first gene edit inside a human, and it saved a baby's life. KJ is a 9.5 month year old baby boy and was born with a CPS1 deficiency, a rare metabolic disorder caused by an inherited gene mutation, where his liver couldn't process nitrogen from breaking down protein, leading to the buildup of ammonia in his body which accumulated in the brain and can cause brain damage. The only treatment is a liver transplant, but for such a tiny patient it would be months before his body could survive the process, and 50% of patients don't make it this long. But a team of researchers suggested another option. They had been working on a CRISPR-based technique called base editing, which can make a targeted single letter change to a faulty DNA sequence. Within two months of KJ's birth and diagnosis, the team had already screened hundreds of base pair editors and selected the best fit for his case. The molecular machinery was loaded into lipid nanoparticles, and 208 days after his birth, KJ received his first infusion. After just the first dose, he could already begin to safely eat protein again, but he still required medication for his ammonia levels. 20 two days later, the second dose was administered, and he was able to reduce his medication by 50%. KJ went from the 9th percentile in weight to the 26th percentile, and since the publication, he has received his third and final dose, and his medication is slowly being reduced completely. The team will need to monitor him closely, of course, because it's the first time this has ever been attempted, but they are cautiously hopeful that it will allow KJ to thrive, and he will get by with little to no medication as an adult. This is the first time we've ever made these edits in the body, and although this was an ideal case, Case where there was only one base pair that needed fixing, if this works reliably, it opens the door to treating thousands of other genetic conditions the same way. Correcting mutations not in a dish or before birth, but inside a living person in real time. Finally, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. If you like science and believe that incurable disease is a challenge, not a death sentence, follow for more.